Um, but I think, I, I know we're in a great foundation. I know we're in a great place right now. I'm really proud of it. You know, we have a great staff. The staff works tremendously hard and together. We have really good players. So, you know, I think third place is fair. I, I do. Um, St. John's has a great team coming back, as does DePaul. But so do we. Um, you know, we lost four great seniors, but these, these kids coming back are, are, are a lot better than what they were. We have, obviously, Barbara and um, Alexis sitting out that are really good players. Um, and then we have some talented freshmen, so we're excited. And Coach Shadeen Samuels, the preseason player of the year. What is your reaction? How do you feel about it? Tell me all about it. Now, I was so excited for her because, you know, she didn't walk in, you know, oh, I'm going to be, you know, Big East, you know, preseason rookie of the year. She had to work for all this. She had to, you know, average four points a game as a freshman and not play in some games and, you know, play eight minutes in other games. And then as a sophomore, only average seven and a half minutes, points a game. And, you know, and just go through a lot of ups and downs. And, you know, she is not only a great offensive player, she, I think she's the best defensive player in the league. So for her to get that award shows that people have acknowledged how good she is. Uh, you know, on the offensive end and on the defensive end. And, you know, I give her so much credit and I give the staff a lot of credit for working individually with her. Um, but she was receptive to it and she went and did it. And it's easy to say, oh, you know, just get better. But she really has gotten better. You mentioned St. John's, you know, improving their team and Butler did immensely as well. And obviously you are. And the big, so that being said, the Big East is changing and UConn's coming on. Tell me about, you know, what do you think about UConn rejoining the conference? Well, I'm excited. Obviously, you know, Coach Oriema runs the premier program in, in all of women's basketball, and we scheduled them non-league, not even you know knowing they were coming in because we wanted to challenge ourselves and bring the best um, for our fans to see and challenge ourselves to see that. I mean, obviously we know it's going to be a tremendously difficult game. But that's okay. You know, our kids are excited to do it. Our fans deserve seeing the best team in the country. People are like, well, you're going to move it out of Walsh somewhere else? I'm like, heck no. This is Walsh the best. Our well, our fans have their own spots. You know, I never want to you know have them move and. Uh, I'm excited and you know for the challenge and then for them to come back in the league you know it's just gonna raise everyone's bar and I think it'll even help us even more in recruiting and in notoriety and nationality and in, in everything so I'm excited you know coach Oriam has been a great mentor to me when even when I was division two he treated me like I was you know the head coach of the biggest division one school he always treated me with respect and uh, I have so much respect for him and his staff uh, Chris Daly is a you know, could be the best head coach probably in the country at most other places. So, you know, they're really, really great people. And this team is looking a lot different from last year, being that you lost players like Nicole Menez and Lily Brutina, but you have a lot of transfers coming in as well. How do you think they're going to mesh into this new, uh, the new, uh, or this updated offense, offense, I should say? Yeah, you know, I, you know, last year was our first year in the new offense, and Nicole and Katie and uh, Victoria and Inya, they really, you know, great, you know, set a great foundation for it, you know. But Barbara... Johnson, who, who sat out, and Alexis Lewis, who sat out, got to play against it every day, and got to have to try and guard those kids who are running the floor constantly, and it was great for them. Mm -hmm. um, so now they've come into the system this year, and they've played it for a year, and played it at a high level because the seniors made it a high level. So, you know, Barbara's just a, you know, a strong kid, you know, got so much better, and Alexis gives us great size at that wing spot and shoots it from deep. So those two... I think will seamlessly move into um, our, our, our lineup because they've played against great players for a year in our system. And then, you know, we have a great junior college kid in with Jazz and um, I think some really talented freshmen that I think will really surprise a lot of people. We also are going to get Femi back. Uh, Femi tore her Achilles on January 1st, basically, last year. And uh, she's uh, about a month away and she looks great. Um, we're excited to have her. She's bigger, stronger, and I think she's going to really have a big year for us. How far do you think this team can go? I think we win a Big East Championship. I do. I, I think that's our goal. Um, it's hard. Every team in our league is solid and good, and DePaul has got a chance to be great as the St. John's, but you can't sleep on the Creighton's, the Villanova's. You know, Xavier returns four starters. Uh, you know, they have a great program as well. You know, Georgetown plays you know, some of the best defense in the league. I, I, I think this team, though, has a talent, mm. and they have the understanding and the drive and the will. We've practiced about 14 times, and I haven't walked away from practice once saying, you know what, they didn't you know, give their best effort. Anything else you'd like to say? I'm just excited for our fans. I mean, for men's and women's basketball to be at such a level that we are right now is a great tribute to Coach Willard. Um, he's done a great job there. Mm. Um, it's great for our athletic department. Um, our new AD you know, is coming in at a great time. Our, our old AD you know, is still part of it. 
you know, Rochelle, our SWA, has really helped mentor all our kids and, 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 and us. And we're excited to have a great year, um, both with the men and with the women. And, you know, our fans are really into it. We're sold out for the beefsteak next Thursday. And, you know, that's, yeah, you know, the men being great helps so much. But I think us being good, a lot of excitement. And uh, I can't tell you how excited I was for, for Shadeen to be uh, player of the year. It's just how hard she's worked. Yeah. And, and you know, and, and like I said, this is the seventh year that we've, you know, rejuvenated this program. And I think it's in the best, uh, you know, situation it's ever been in. With Shadeen being the preseason player of the year, like, you're one of the few people that's seen how hard that she worked. Can you talk about the evolution of her as you've seen her? And That's a great question. She has evolved. I mean, she came in, she couldn't shoot the three. She wouldn't shoot the three. Mm -hmm. She was only a defensive player. She really couldn't dribble with her left hand. I mean, there were a lot of things she needed to improve on. And you know, it was just tough. It was tough. She was away from home. You know, mm -hmm. there were a lot of things that she struggled with freshman year, but she never quit. Um, so I year she worked hard to get better. Um, she was challenged by a few players in our program, so she raised her bar a little bit. And then this year she took over. I mean, last year she took over. I mean, she went from obviously the most improved player in the Big East, but from seven and a half points to 20 points a game. I and mean, you don't see that too often. Mm. It's because she worked hard. And our staff spent a lot of time with her. And I give all of them credit. Um, not one of them, all of them. And she's very receptive to that. So I, I am proud of all my players, but none prouder than I am for Shadeen. When she goes from that what you talked about, what you can do, to now being player of the year type of situation. Is that something that you, that's a great tool now for your recruiting for our future? For our recruiting and player development, also for our kids that are in the program. Like guys, you're not gonna score 20 points a game. I hope you do as a freshman, but you probably won't. But that doesn't mean you should quit and say you're not good or wanna go somewhere else. No, it doesn't work that way. Work and get better. She's a perfect example of that. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what I love about her. Um, she was not a star was not a starter when she came in, but became a star of all stars in our league and a, and a great player. And she's going to lead us to the NCAA tournament this year. I truly believe that in my heart. Is there any player in particular?